decided to take a walk so I could go somewhere and test my new Olight flashlights that I paid out of my own pocket for. We'll see if I can do that. There's no sign saying I can't. I'm just going for a walk. I have not found any sign saying I can't be here once the sun goes down. So I think I'm okay. Guys, I got the Olight Warrior X Pro. Warrior X Pro, this thing throws 2250 lumens at its max. Now all the Olights have really good lumens, um, but once they heat up, they uh, pyramid down in strength. Um, so if you just burst burst it, they can last a decent while, I think. So I kind of wanted to come test it out. I charged this up fully, uh, which you're supposed to do, and uh, hopefully we can get a chance to look at it in a bit. And then I bought some bundles and stuff. This is the, I don't know, what is this thing? S1R Baton 2, S1R Batar 2. This thing, Baton 2, this thing's really light, really small. Hopefully it will stay secure in my back pocket with this um, uh, wrist wrap hanging out of my back pocket on my offside. This will be my EDC. Hopefully I don't lose it um, because having this as an EDC light so I could quickly search, but also I could put my... I can also put my hand through it as I pull it from the back pocket and then activate the switch here. And then even if I wasn't carrying a weapon mounted light, you could activate it. You could activate it and then hold it there and still get a good firing grip and use the hand for recoil control as opposed to doing the old Harry method, one hand on a gun and no recoil control. So this is a good option. It's really small. It fits in there really well and it points where I need it to point. I've tried it with some different pistols. And so this is a good little EDC light, I think. This one is a chargeable. Actually, both are chargeable. Though I also got the PL2 Valkyrie I'm trying out right now in a Cobra Kydex holster. So uh, guys, this might be a good EDC um, light. This may be a very good, uh, just overall awesome, powerful light. Uh, the Cadella on this is 90,000 at, at its highest output. So you can reach out and touch someone 600 meters with this. So if you were doing a search or something, at least for a little while, this might be um, a good light to have in your toolbox. And uh, the PL2 Valkyrie, I'm trying out. I like the the Valkyrie instead of the Mini. I like something that is a standoff device on my pistol, and I'm trying it out in a Cobra Kydex holster now. So this does, you know, huge, like I said, 2250, 90,000 Cadella, which is huge, guys. Cadella and throw is important. This is 1,000 down to 600, down to 300, down to like 60, I think. And the PL2 Valkyrie is... The PL2 Valkyrie is 1200 for a good while and then down to 600 So we'll take some more footage later if the sun finally goes down like it's supposed to. See, the sun is just about to dip all the way down. It's obviously dusk. It's getting hard to see. Oh, here you could still kind of make out a body if someone was sneaking up on me. But if I had to go searching for someone over there or by any of these trees, it would be very, very difficult. So, I got the little old light. I got it around my hand the way I could grab it out of my back pocket. If put it between my fingers. So that's seven yards. Typical shooting distance. This way you could still have recoil control on your pistol. There's seven yards. So you could make a positive identification easily here. So this will be my EDC light at seven yards. Now, probably about 20 to 25 yards to that fir tree. I don't think the camera's picking it up, but the and I, I can still very much see someone and pretty much see, hopefully, if they had a deadly weapon or not. Back to seven yards, really, really good. Over here where there's still more light towards the buildings over there, can't really see. All right, all right, but now I gotta see way over there. Well, yes, yes, I can. That is really, really far. You could see I could search for someone and you know seeing a pistol at this distance something might be difficult unless they're pointed at you. Get some glint off the slide or something but if someone had a rifle or a shotgun I could probably identify that. Way the F over there. How about this building over here? What building you say? That one. Way 
way over there. This is what Cadella gives you. So I got 2250, 2250, and then it's already heating up in my hands. 2250, but you got 90,000 Cadella. Supposedly 600 meter throw. That's towards the front. All the way out there is towards the front. Really, really far. So I wanted to show you what this could do at the while the light's almost completely gone. Still a little bit of ambient light. This is heating up really fast, and in a bit it might kick it down. It's actually starting to get a little uncomfortable to hold, so something to keep in mind. But if I was just, I'll let it cool for about 10 seconds. If I was just flash banging a bit. And you can go to light, that's half. You can just press it and then go all the way. You can go to half and get longer with it and then go all the way. So if you were searching, you could be searching at half. Looking, 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 and then, oh, now I need to get positive ID. So here, so that's the Olight Warrior Man. One more little short vid, here's the baton too. You hear something going off in the, uh, there, there's what well, see goes to max. The different modes. Okay, if I needed to check things out, that's still pretty good, right? It's still pretty good. Alright, so maybe that's good for joggers because it's light and on the wrist. It's a little hard to find the button, but you could jog with it in your hand or walking from your car to someone. This may be a nice little gift for significant others all right let's go to the warrior x in this back alley and now something weird's going on i'll go halfway halfway all the way look how far it shoots see that truck no one's in it from what i can tell way out here maybe i need to see way out here so i can see what's going on over there oh is someone lurking by the car over there way over here you can check out what's going on Someone lurking in the dark over there on the left? Nope. I walk about here with the little one. There's a ravine to the right here. Someone could easily be heading there ready to jump out and grab a girl walking home or me and rob me with a knife, whatever. So you want to search for crackheads with your little one here? There you go. It's going a pretty good distance. Pretty good distance at the highest setting. And then you can set it and then you just tap it once and it stays on. Okay, what about out here? All the close stuff, take a good look. Pretty good, it helps you pretty much get out there. The camera's not really picking it up, but I'm getting out there pretty good over there to the electrical grid. But not quite way over there to the tree line. What about the Warrior X Pro? That's halfway. All this stuff near me. What about full power? Bam, everything, see the world. Halfway, full power, bam, see the world. In case there's someone you just could walk like this way and then boom, I gotta check them out. Look way over there, electrical grid, I can actually find people. The camera's not picking it up as good as the human eye is. Way over there, that tree line. Let's say you gotta check things out. All right, just wanted to give you guys some real world examples. Alright guys, so pretty much wrapping up the review of the Olight Baton 2. You see I got it on the charger there and it's red showing it as charging. USB, I'm going to do both at once. USB ports to the magnetic charger. Here's the Warrior X Pro and boom. Oh, it did some Iron Man stuff and it's already charging and I didn't even mean it to. So that was pretty cool. Shows you those magnets are strong. Guys, on the rest of the walk back, I held this in my hand, turned it to the highest setting, and walked the rest of the way just to make sure it's got some good battery life. And um, couldn't really tell. If it did notch down, it's still enough lumens. I think it's 1,000 down as 600. Um, it's still enough lumens that uh, this is good for anyone that walks. You shouldn't be walking late at night. Um, I do, but, you know, you really shouldn't. Um, but I have lupus and have to avoid the sun, so I start. I like to take my walks at dusk so I don't overheat and stuff. Um, but anyway, 
this might be a nice little gift. With this, it's so lightweight that inside the hand, it's ready to go. Uh, it might be good for walkers, joggers to keep safe, keep your path illuminated. Um, that way, uh, you know, baddies can't surprise you as easily. And the Warrior X Pro definitely has can reach out and touch you power, which is why I got it. Are there other stuff on the uh, out there from other companies? Sure. Um, you know, getting this in a bundle when they do sales, that was great. Um, this really can reach out and touch. You can't leave it on forever, but you can really reach out and touch and really go full power as you guys saw. So overall, I'm pretty impressed. Oh, late. We talked a couple times. You didn't send them to me, so I just bought them. It should be nice if you guys supported me in the future. Guys, do you want to see me do a full review on the uh, PL2 Valkyrie as well as uh, my Cobra Kydex holster that I'm already loving. I just, you know, I walk and kept it on for hours for like the last five hours. And, um, yeah, let me guys know if you like this and uh, please thumbs up, please hit that subscription bell bell, and I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks.